I don't usually do these sort of things, but listen, there's only one way to get out of this, bro. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 that is unique enough, of course, in alphabetical order. And this week we're back with a big, big nation, a very popular nation, the nation of Bohemia. Bohemia is located in the HRE, the only kingdom in the HRE, by the way. We start off with two subjects, these two guys right here, and our amazing mission tree enables us to PU Hungary, PU Poland, maybe Lithuania if they get them too, vassalize Brandenburg in Saxony and then PU them and of course we have the option of going who site which we will of course be doing in this challenge but what do we do as Bohemia well why not actually go who site just like I said PU all of these guys around us beat up everyone else become as powerful as we can in order to achieve religious peace in the Holy Roman Empire so that we can become a who site Emperor and before we begin if you enjoy this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more a to z videos or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything let's jump in as bohemia all right all right here we are as bohemia now of course we do start off with no ruler so we can't just go ahead and declare wars right off the bat we need to wait for the ruler we need to wait for the event to become who site and then we'll get everything going but for now let's rival some guys let's be bold over here huh I actually wanted to uh, rival Austria, but I guess I can't. Oh, well, let's rival Poland and Hungary, and I'll save a slot for Austria too. Now let me do some estate stuff. All right, all right, estate stuff done. Now we immediately want to start deving a Cheb over here up to 10 so we can make a ton of money from gold. What else do we do? Uh, let's hire some advisors. Ah, no inflation reduction guy, F. Well, let's fire one of these guys and hope we'll get him later. Let's get the spy network guy. Let's get this manpower guy. Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. I am going to start spying on Hungary right Right away improving with the ottomans right away and improving with uh my boys over here right away so now i'm just waiting for that uh that event yeah and uh let's rival austria too <laughs> hopefully they don't ally each other and uh wait huh maybe they won't maybe i'll have a little bit of luck here wait i got a guy uh, how do you get a guy i thought we were waiting for that uh yuri guy or whatever maybe he'll show up later huh you know, I have done a guide for Bohemia, I just forgot what, uh, what was happening. <laughs> so Austria and Hungary did ally each other, that kind of sucks, but hey, I guess we can't always have luck. Wait, we never have luck. By the way, the way we are gonna achieve religious peace in the Holy Roman Empire, basically allowing us to become Hussite and an Emperor, is by, well, growing as powerful as we can, and then when the religious leagues form, well, we're gonna white peace whoever we're fighting, so we get the peace of Westphalia. No Catholic official faith, no Protestant, no Reformed, Hussite can't become one, obviously, so we need the peace of Westphalia. Let's ally France here. Nice. And let's join their war, obviously. And let's look up with the Ottomans. Ah, man. I love playing Bohemia. You can ally France and the Ottomans so easily. That's it. We've already won the game, boys. What's the point of continuing after this? Now, actually, me being in this war versus England does prevent the event for Yuri to fire. So, uh, he's going there, France. Just beat them up, bro. Like, like, just walk in there and beat them up. You know what I'm saying? And here's the event finally because France peaced out with England. Of course, it's the return of the Hussites. We need to pick this first option. Jan Hus knew the truth. And the current guys will die. Hussite becomes our new faith. And Yuri, who's a 543, becomes a ruler. Of course, we will do this. Yes. There we go. Ah, feels good. Feels good. Okay, let's take this mission right here. Hussite resurgency. Missionary maintenance cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start converting some stuff. We can also take some new tech. Perfect. All right, well, phase one of our plan is done. Let's convert everything so we spawn a Hussite Center of Reformation and uh, pretty soon we're gonna fight our first war here which is uh, gonna be versus Austria and Hungary. Well, pretty soon might be uh, now actually since the Ottomans would help. Alright boys, let's get this party started. First war versus Hungary. In this war, I'm gonna be taking all of Slovakia right here, so we actually complete uh, this mission before we even get to it. And of course, we're gonna humiliate Austria too, to unlock this branch of the mission tree as well. Easy man, easy life, easy life, let me tell you. Uh, let's declare for Pasoni right there, call on the Ottomans, boom, it is what it is, let's go uh, siege Vienna. <laughs> France just excommunicated Austria, dude. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I can actually call in France as well, so why not make uh, why not make things easier here? I love Bohemia. Hey, I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that as well. <laughs> Let's become Hussite defender of the faith. Why not? <laughs> there we go. 
Ah, the prestige. I love it. Hey, and another great thing, uh, Hungary didn't choose to become a junior partner under Austria, which means we will get the PUCB over them instead of just perma claims and stuff like that. All right, let's get Austria out of here. Let's humiliate them. Let's take war apps, some money too. Bye bye, Austria. See you next time. Ah, now we can take the mission, which gives us a uh, subjugation CB on Brandenburg. Of course, I won't take it uh, right now, I don't think. And uh, let's peace out Hungary too. The only thing I want is the entire area of Nitra or Slovakia, whatever it's called. No money, no war reps. That's it. And now we've preemptively done this mission as well. Now we just need to annex some subjects. I love it. Two gold mines, by the way. Nice. Aspect of faith? How about even more manpower? I love it. I love it. It's been only like 10 years and we already have like plus 35% national manpower. Bruh. We might really not take quantity this time. Now, what do we open up here with as Bohemia, man? What about religious? Who side with religious ideas? I think that could be pretty powerful. Yeah, yeah, oh no. Don't open up with an admin idea group. It's not optimal. Man, just shut up. Sweet, uh, I just annexed both subjects as well. We can pick a new aspect of faith. Why not, uh... This one, War Score versus other religions, awesome. Now, we can take the mission to integrate Silesia, of course, improve relations, I love it. So let's do that. And now, actually, we have two choices. We can take Conquer Nitra and PU Hungary, or we can take Polish Diplomacy and PU Poland. Of course, we can easily do it to any of them, since the Ottomans and France will help out. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, uh, we do whatever we want here, man. On the Red Hawk channel, as Bohemia, we do whatever we want. But I also think about what I want, so let me think about it. All right, I thought about it. And, uh, listen, we still have a truce with Hungary either way, so, uh, let's PU Poland and Lithuania first. Uh, they got Moldavia, they took a big chunk out of Crimea, they even fought Brandenburg. Of course, they don't have Danzig yet, but listen, I don't really care about Danzig, so, uh, let's declare- Oh, wait, I haven't taken the mission. Oops. Uh, let's take this. Boom, there we go, we got the Restoration of Union CB on them. Uh, where is it? It's right there. Awesome, awesome. I literally have no idea how much aggressive expansion I'm gonna get from this. Poland is so big. Help. France getting occupied again, just like last war. Well, I'm glad they exist, you know. They're still big help, even though they're getting occupied. Now, what sucks is Austria pewed Hungary, so I can't pew them myself. I'll just get perma claims, as we can see right here. There it is. Actually, not even perma claims on the entirety, just these two areas right here. So I am gonna have to fight Austria before that and make them release Hungary, which I think I did in my guide as well. Not sure. Hey, we got like 90% war score versus Poland, which is excellent. We can PU them. Let's see the damage uh, from this PU. Oh, 96 aggressive expansion. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a bit much. But hey, listen, I don't care, right? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I think I'll care now, though. <laughs> oh, no. But now we can take this mission. How am I gonna get these guys loyal, dude? <laughs> oh, since we converted everything over here, I guess we can unlock the mission Husite Resurgence. Oh, Husite Center of Reformation will appear in Prague. Yes, yes. Maybe someone else will convert now, too. All right, honestly, I do think it's time to subjugate Brandenburg over here. So let's take the mission Humiliate Austria. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. I just think we got the CB. Yes, we did. Uh, my allies won't help me out, but at least they're not allied to strong nations. And my subjects are almost loyal. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's subjugate Brandenburg. Was the worst that can happen. Oh, I forgot we can uh, force religion actually. So uh, let's uh, let's force Mecklenburg here to be Husite, huh? Nice. All right, all right. I forgot to do it to Anhalt and Wolgast, but uh, when we fight smaller nations, I'll definitely do it to them. Even my nobles are killing the Brandenburgians. I love it. All right, Brandenburg has been beaten up. Let's see the damage right here and uh, Bohemian vassal. Bruh, come on. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, I don't want a coalition this early. Please. Can we bring it down somehow? Let's make them release Rupin. And what about now? Oh, wow. Five, uh, five points. Well, wonderful. Wonderful. Listen, I'm willing to take that risk, man. I'm willing to take that risk. Let's see here. Uh, well, may maybe I shouldn't have taken this risk. <laughs> All right, boys. A coalition is starting to form and it's actually pretty big. I'm also helping the Ottomans fight uh, Venice right now. So this is going to be a long war. And listen, I don't usually do these sort of things. But listen, there's only one way to get out of this, bro. We got to guarantee everyone that's joined the coalition versus us. All right, now that I've guaranteed a bunch of these guys, I can simply revoke the guarantee which forms a truce and which will make them uh, leave the uh, coalition. At least I think so. Yeah, they did. Huh, this exploit does work. And just like that, after guaranteeing everyone that joined the coalition and revoking the guarantee, only Denmark has left because, well, I can't guarantee Denmark now, can I? I, uh, I don't usually play with exploits, but listen, boys, listen. We have to accomplish this at all costs. 
So yeah, there's a little trick for you guys if you didn't know uh, to uh, to avoid coalitions. In fact, I just learned it recently myself. I feel like we really gotta go with Diplo or Influence for our next idea group. Um, these guys will hate me less if I take Influence, but do I really need Influence? I don't plan on annexing these guys, so uh, maybe we go with Diplo. Dude, these guys, they keep fighting all of these other guys and I can't call them into my own wars. Listen, Ottomans, I know you're going crazy, guys, but come on, man. I, I, I just want to fight Austria here. I just want to make them release Hungary. Please. Oh, Hungarian pretenders. Let's hope Austria here isn't strong enough to beat them up. You know what? I think I'm done waiting for the Ottomans to help out here. Uh, let's just do it with uh, me and France. England is going to be annoying, sure, but not really a big deal. Boom. Let's do a little trolling in Vienna. Boom. All right, sweet. Very easy war. Completely wiped all of Hungary and all of Austria. Now, what I hope doesn't happen here is the Ottomans declare on Hungary while I'm at peace with them. This was, of course, a risk, which is why I wanted to call in the Ottomans with them. So they have a truce with Hungary as well, and they can't declare on them. But unfortunately, I can't wait around for these guys for all my life. I do think they'll do it, but hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, let's make them, yeah, just release Hungary. Super, super long truce, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. We're gonna have to wait like uh, 15 years for this. Never mind. In the meantime, we can probably uh, beat up Saxony or something. Let's do a little reconquest for Rupin, which I released earlier, of course, so we can uh, complete this mission right here, the Electorate of Brandenburg. I'm also gonna make Saxony go Hussite. All right, all right, war is done. Let's do, uh, let's do a little bit of this on Saxony, and let's do a little bit of this on Rupin, and now we can actually take this, but wait, I, I actually don't want a subjugation on Saxony right now, do I? The truce with them is gonna be pretty long, 1505. Yeah, yeah, we'll hold off on this mission. Meanwhile, things are looking great. No coalitions, I'm making tons of money, I've been building tons of buildings, paying off tons of loans. What can we do while we're waiting for the truce with Hungary to run out. Well, obviously help out my allies in their wars, because I don't know what else to do. But slowly and surely, we're approaching towards the age of reformation. People are going to be going Protestant and the religious leagues will fire soon. And the Ottomans just declared on Hungary in their own conquest of, uh, well, whatever province they chose, probably this one. Dude, I swear, call me the hunchback of Notre Dame, bro, because I predicted this. Or wait, no, that, that, that's a different movie. I meant, uh, I meant Nostradamus. Of course I did. Dude, <laughs> I've been drilling with this, uh, two siege guy that I have, he got two more siege pips while drilling, man. And it was in pretty rapid succession, like I just got one now, and the other one popped up like a year ago. Pretty sick. Alright, we still got about 10 more years since our truces with Hungary and Saxony are up, so let's not get bored in the meantime. Let's go humiliate Denmark or something. Yeah, why not? Easy, man. This is gonna be super easy, too. Let's walk straight over to Colding. Dude, I'm melting these forts with this four siege pip guy, dude. I guess declaring accumulation war is kind of stupid when you can't actually take their capital. <laughs> Wow, the Ottomans actually took a pretty big chunk out of Hungary. <laughs> I literally can't get around because Muscovy doesn't want to let us through. And no one else wants to ask for access through them. Come on, France. I did make a Dith Martian in East Frisia, who said though? <laughs> oh, well, here's another event I actually forgot about, the Heretic King, uh, where we can flip back to Catholic if we want to do it. But no, I must stay true to Christ. I stand with my people. Finally, mill access. Hey, the Protestant Reformation, it spawned in Provence. Uh, okay. Of course, we can also flip to Protestant very easily. I mean, you could do it from here too. Or maybe you can't. Oh, I guess you can't. Well, this is the event that lets you flip the Protestant, but like we said earlier, we're gonna be staying Hussite. All right, let me go PU these guys finally. Uh, let's take this mission. There we go. Restoration of Union CB on Hungary. Wonderful. There are like two some guys that I'll make uh, go Hussite as well. And let's do a little restoring of a little Union, shall we? All right, let's end the dumbest humiliation war I've declared uh, in my history of playing U4. I'm literally not even gonna humiliate them, dude. And uh, I think that's that. Let's see, there we go. Oh, can we force religion? No. <laughs> I'll just do it from a different tab. Let's do a union with Hungary. Not a lot of AE at all. Uh, I'm still a bit salty the Ottomans took this, but whatever. And uh, great, now we got Hungary. Looks like Saxony is next up on the menu. Uh, of course, our choose with them is already up. Let's do this. Uh, I will make Brandenburg a junior partner. Or wait. Maybe I shouldn't. I think that only affects me if I'm uh, if I'm an emperor, right? Yeah, one elector or subject states. Actually, making them a march would be pretty cool. That'll make them stronger militarily. I just noticed they made them pop out of Croatia too. I'm so salty. All right, let's beat up Saxony too. What's aggressive expansion like? It's non-existent. Let's declare on them subjugation. Uh, fighting all of these. Wait, good relations? No, 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 no. No good relations. There we go. Is that sorry thing in her head? <laughs> what passes for a crown in Saxony? Psh. 
Get out of here. All right, war on Saxony for real this time. <laughs> Yo, Poland went who said by themselves, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> After so many provinces got converted, they went who said themselves. I love it. I love it. Meanwhile, I'm converting all of these guys over here. Protestant is spreading. Reformed is spreading. Oh my god. It's gonna be down with Catholic, baby. Down with Catholic. Good job, Poland. I should probably uh, force Lithuania to be who said. It's only plus 50%. I'll probably force Hungary too. Yeah. All right, let's subjugate these boys too. There we go. Bohemian vassal, all their money. I already changed their religion previously. Perfect. The electorate of Saxony. Yes, yes. Uh. Oh, wait, I can't make them a march. Why did it only offer me that thing for Brandenburg? Maybe they were supposed to be loyal so I can do that. Um. I guess the current situation suits us. All right, man, things are looking really good. We're super powerful. Number three on the great powers list, we got five powerful subjects, in fact. And I think it's time to show Austria who's boss. Even though they're not the emperor anymore, <laughs> the Palatin it is. Uh, I'm still gonna show them who's boss. Cleansing of heresy? Yes, yes. Yes. All right, now I actually have to do a Defender of the Faith stuff. I forgot we became one, but at least we're tier three. Nice. Uh, who am I fighting? Bruh. Hesse, of course I'll help you out, baby. Come on. This is easy. Easy. Super fun war we're in right here. Uh, I'm about to beat up Austria. I'm helping out Danzig this time. Defender of the Faith gives me stuff to do. While the Religious Leagues uh, form, of course. Uh, let's vote, uh, declare an embargo on Denmark right there. We can do that. I will do it. We can do um, that as well. I will do it. Ooh, new troops. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do that. Let's do uh, this one. And time for a third idea group. Maybe a mill one this time. Maybe um offensive uh let's go with quantity i kind of miss it and we've beaten up austria very very nicely here let's take uh let's take their entire capital state of uh austria proper why not coalition listen no one cares about coalitions in 1515 dude come on let's uh humiliate them take war reps take some money too nice all right austria now sucks uh i kind of did want to fight them in the war of the protestant league but i guess uh palatinet is gonna be the main enemy I wonder how the Teutons thought declaring on Danzig and fighting all of these guys uh, right here was a good idea. Dude, these guys are alive in like 1516. I can't get a game started with them, man. But below zero coming soon, so keep an eye out. I think I'm gonna force uh, Brandenburg to be Husite now. Yeah, nice. Are we gonna go back to the tradition, internal conflicts, and the Peasants War? No, of course not. Of course not, I'm gonna stop them. I love throwing people out of windows. Now, something I didn't tell you guys because I thought it wasn't important, uh, France used favors to put a Devalois on my throne. I accepted it, I didn't have an heir at the time, and now that Valois guy is the ruler of my nation. Here's the thing, though. France, they don't have an heir right now. I just broke my alliance with them. Can we claim the throne? Of course we can. Let's claim France's throne. Ooh, goody goody. Now let's wait for a month. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's enforce a personal union on France. Hopefully I don't get coalitioned again, but I'll just uh, guarantee and revoke it. <laughs> Alright, uh, this war, of course, versus France is gonna be more difficult. They're a pretty powerful nation, rich, nice armies. My subjects weren't doing a lot up until now, and I had to spend all this time guaranteeing and revoking guarantees with all of these guys over here pretty much that I have chooses with. Yeah. That's how you get around it, baby. That's how you get around it. The problem is I am gonna have to go siege down Scotland and Morocco or something to PU France. And that's uh not really possible. Well, I'm glad France decided to go uh, to Egypt on vacation for some reason. <laughs> Alright, I kicked out Scotland because they're getting beaten up by England. Also, Morocco is supposed to be getting beat up by Castile. And so is France too, apparently. So yeah, thank you Castile and England for helping out indirectly. My truces with the coalition guys are starting to end and uh, I'm gonna have to do it all over again. But listen, clicking this button twice, much better than fighting a coalition. At least now, we will fight it later boys, don't you worry about that. And I just white peace Morocco, once again thank you Castile, and it's time to enforce our personal union over France as well. Uh, listen, we knew we were gonna get these guys. This, this is not something I was expecting. Uh, there we go, treaties, union with France, let's take all their money as well. Boom, alright. Mmm, now, now that's a coalition and a half, boys. Alright, let's try and stabilize here. I mean, not that I'm unstable, but uh, yeah. Let's try and stabilize here a bit, improve with France, blah blah blah. And uh, I think we're just gonna be chilling for the next uh, couple of decades until the religious leagues form. Ah, 
<laughs> nice coalition, man. Nice coalition. But here's the stupid thing about this exploit, man. I can guarantee England, dude. I, I just guaranteed England. Now I'm gonna revoke the guarantee. And there we go. We're gonna unpause. And they left the coalition, man. You know, it's fun playing around with this for like, you know, one game or something. But I, I don't really recommend doing this, boys. It, it takes the fun out of the game. You know what I'm saying? We can't just expand, you know, with no consequences. What's the point of aggressive expansion then? And just like that, the coalition is gone. Pretty stupid, I know, but hey, what are you gonna do? Wait a minute, how did Bayreuth get my gold mine here? How did this happen? Dude, when... What's the province history? Let me, how did this happen? Okay, was annexed by Bohemia, occupied by Bohemia. Was annexed by Bayreuth in 1514. Abandoned the old faith and became Husa. How did this happen? Was it when I was helping out um whoever it was here versus Würzburg? Did we lose that war? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I don't believe this. Oh my god, dude. These guys literally don't want to give me back my core. You know what? Fine. Fine. Yeah, I'll call on the Ottomans to fight these idiots. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I am so powerful. Yes, please and thank you. I just want this back, man. I just want that back, please. Nothing else. I don't want beef with you guys. Come on. Thank you. Thank you for my gold mine. Did you massacre it? No, you didn't. Nice. Ah, isn't this the most beautiful religious map you've ever seen in Europe? Reformed. Protestant. Hussite. Catholic. Orthodox. I think we're dominating. Well, not really, but you get my point. Hey now, Austria's been elected emperor again. Listen, even I'll vote for them, dude. Even I'll vote for them to make sure they stay emperor so I can fight them. You know, they're not as powerful as they were, but I want to feel the real war of the Protestant League. The Ottomans broke their alliance with me. F. Well, something else I did was I did force Hungary earlier and now Lithuania to go Hussite. My goal is to make it the top Christian religion. Can we beat Catholic? I doubt it, but we'll see. Only about 15 more years until the leagues form. The conditions are it needs to be at least 1550 and at least one elector needs to be non-Catholic. And uh, I think every elector is non-Catholic except for Colin right here. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Wait, Colin's not even an elector. A second army has been constructed. Of course, now we can't afford to uh, put army maintenance up and raise forts, but hey, hey, at least we got a huge armies, and these guys, they're scared of me now. All right, all right, it is 1550. The religious leagues can form. We just need to wait for the event to pop up, and then we'll commence with our plan of Hussite domination for the entirety of Europe. Oh, Hungary wants to join the HRE. Uh, I didn't think that could happen unless they were an Austrian junior partner. I guess it can happen, of course. Uh, let's vote here to uh, let Hungary join. Oh, the Emperor favors this option. Excellent. Hey, Hungary joined. <laughs> hey, Prussia formed. Uh, the Teutons formed them. <laughs> Just waiting around. You know, uh, last time as Berg, it seems that they fired him. Ooh, ooh nice, nice event. Uh, let me just do this real quick. You know, wh what was I saying? Last time as Berg, man, this, uh, the religious leagues fired immediately. Now we gotta wait for them for, like, who knows how long, dude. I mean, I don't know. Let's do something. Let's, let's fight Danzig. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, let's buff up our army even more. Quality. Finally, there it is, the Evangelical Union. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, who's on the Catholic side? Now listen, remember how last time as Berg we declared immediately to not let this grow? How about this time we let it max out? All out war, baby. Let's get it. I'm gonna wait for like a year or two. And uh, of course, I am gonna join the Protestant side. I should be the leader? Wait, what? Oh, oh, well. So now pretty much what's going on is I gotta wait for Salzburg here to get the guts to declare on Austria. Come on, dude. Our side is so much more powerful. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, religious leagues. Look, look at the blue guys versus the green guys. Come on, Salzburg. Come on, buddy. You can do it. And there it is. Thank you, Salzburg. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, boys. Uh, no, wait. I, that means I can't. Well. Maybe I can force Austria to become Hussein in this war. Either way, this is what we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Salzburg should be able to separate piece all of these tiny guys right here. So let's go and focus on all the tiny guys before converging on Austria. Or no, wait, I want to occupy Lienz. There we go. It's kind of, you know, Omega easy since we have the Ottomans on our side. I wish they wouldn't have joined, but I think it balances out with having Great Britain and Spain on their side. And Portugal too, actually. I didn't notice that the Ottomans uh, came into Italy. <laughs> I'm glad to see Sweden on our side, some historical accuracy right there, but uh, yeah, Salzburg has started piecing out some of these other guys. I think Brittany just hopped out, uh, not sure who else did. Let's get down to business to defeat the British. Oh, I stack wiped them. 
More nations have been pieced out, not a lot of these guys remaining. It's Holland right here, Mainz, Austria, and uh, Spain, Portugal, and Britain, I think. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, just those nations and their colonies, of course. But listen, colonies, who cares about that, bro? While we're in this war, am I gonna force religion on France? Of course I am. <laughs> Let's convert them. <laughs> It's all converging in the Iberian Peninsula, ladies and gentlemen. Massive battles unfolding. It's pretty... Oh. I thought we were gonna fight them and make an epic speech. <laughs> and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Salzburg just peaced out. And what did we get? Austria seized stuff to Trent to release Styria. Uh, country is guaranteed. Protestant becomes the official faith. Austria converts to Protestant. And uh, <laughs> it seems that Burgundy has been elected emperor. But listen, I messed up. I thought I would be the leader, bro. I didn't know Hussites can't be the leader of a religious league. I've never played a Hussite. Don't tell anyone, though. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we started off as Bohemia flipped to Hussite, followed along our amazing, amazing mission tree. PU'd Poland, got Lithuania as well, fought Brandenburg, subjugated them, turned them into a march, fought Saxony, subjugated them, turned them into a march, fought Hungary, subjugated them, turned them into a junior partner, and we even got our dynasty, well actually France got their dynasty on our throne, the Valois guys, and then we claimed France's throne, we got a ton, a ton of coalitions this game but by using one simple trick of guaranteeing someone and then revoking it which creates a truce between you they leave the coalition by the way like i said earlier guys i don't really recommend doing that this was a one-off thing i won't be doing it in any future runs i just wanted to try it out and see if it works and it does paradox please fix it Thank you. But we continued along with that, converted all of our subjects to Hussite. Well, actually, Poland went Hussite themselves. So shout out to Poland. And isn't this the most beautiful religious map of Europe you've ever seen, ladies and gentlemen? We're only missing Anglican over here. Too bad Great Britain didn't go Anglican. They went reformed. But look at how big Hussite is, man. I just turned France Hussite as well. I'm converting their provinces as we speak. And we have accomplished pretty much all of our goals, ladies and gentlemen. We had extra subjects over here, took over Nitra, bumped this gold mine up to 10, twice because it depleted, bumped Cheb up to 10, twice once again because it depleted, full stated everything, who site everything, I wish we could have gotten back hungry scores, but oh well, it is what it is, I even started converting culture in some provinces, this is Czech, you know what it is, we're about to convert a bunch of other provinces to Czech, and this campaign has been a massive massive success we've accomplished all of our goals except well you know i didn't know mechanically we couldn't you know lead the protestant league but it is what it is i'll still consider that as accomplished and Hussite, the Hussite religion dominates europe bohemia the most powerful nation in the world we're a number one great power bigger than the ottomans bigger than spain bigger than muscovy ming doesn't even exist how is savoy a number eight great power with 215 dev i'll never know but i'm glad to say that this campaign as bohemia in A to Z has been a success and honestly this has been one of my favorite runs in A to Z so far and I hope all of you enjoyed it as well and that has been Bohemia in A to Z let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the red hawk live and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more A to Z videos or more UFO videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video